How's it going? I'm Zach Blair from Rise Against. This is, I'm here with Total Guitar. Uh, this is my guitar, one of my guitars. Um, and this one is a 2004, just a Les Paul classic. I got it at Guitar Center in Dallas, Texas, where I'm from. I think I traded a Marshall head. I traded a Marshall head for a Tokai gold top, like a, like a knockoff. But it was one of the gold, when Tokai were making good gold top. I traded that for this with a friend of mine who worked at Guitar Center, probably got in trouble for doing it. And it was before I was in Rise Against, and I really couldn't afford a Les Paul. But it ended up being the guitar that Tim, our singer in Rise Against, and I have recorded the last two records with. And it's funny because Download 2010, I believe, we were playing, we played here. Uh, we're at Download Festival now. And uh, there was a sticker packet going around. I think it was Metal Hammer sticker packet, and it had a Motorhead sticker. And I took that sticker off and put it on this guitar. And that was two, three, two, three years ago. And now we call this guitar Motorhead because why not? Yeah. And uh, it's funny because when we recorded the first like Appeal to Reason with this guitar, it was the main guitar, and it had it has a Seymour Duncan, I believe, uh, Duncan Custom in it right now. Uh, but it had a Seymour Duncan JB in it, and it was awesome. And I I had a guitar, another guitar tech for a brief period of time. Uh, my, my main guy is a guy named Jeff Bilson who's just a genius. He had left us for a bit and I told the guy don't ever change that pickup. No matter if it's making noise, I know I'm, I was sweat into it a lot. The first thing he did was he changed the pickup. So it always sounded a little bit different. But it's still awesome. It's beat to hell. It's got this from the strap lock moving back and forth over it. These DiMarzio click lock things. It keeps doing that and it bugs me. But there's nothing really I can do about it. And then I'm from Texas, so I pulled Bill Hicks. I'm sure they, Bill Hicks was big here in England. Um, he's from from Austin, where I live, Austin, Texas. And so if you're from Texas, you love Bill Hicks. And I ripped this off of a mirror in a little shitty bar in Oklahoma City one time. And I was like, that's awesome. And I tore it off, and I put it here, and it stayed there ever since. And these are two rancid stickers. <laughs> and it's been there forever. Those have been there forever. And there's just belts and all kinds of crazy shit. And the neck is starting to turn green. You can't really see it, but it's got a green overtone to it. And it's never broken, which I'm surprised about. And I have these Spurzel locking tuners, which I put on every guitar because they're just easy. Um, but that's really basically all it is. It's just, I had the tuners put on on this humbucker. And the classic, you know, is the kind of, it's not cheaper, but it's an afford more affordable. You know, they're less than two thousand dollars, and I, for some reason, this guitar has just always performed and sounded better than the other stuff that we've gotten from you know that we've used from Gibson. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. So I think when I think of my guitar, I sort of think of this one because I had it when I joined Rise Against, and uh, you know, it's just kind of been through me with me since two thousand four when I bought it. So yeah.